This video is not to be taken seriously and is only made satirically. I don't want any angry Christians and DC fans in the comments. The Flash has just been released to theaters and in order to ride the Flash hype train, if that even exists, here is a Flash video. Jesus Christ, we all know him, and everyone has heard of him. Son of God, God the Son, the truth, the way, and the life. Son of Mary was crucified on a cross, you know how the story goes. Jesus is of course an all-powerful and omnipotent being, but that got me asking. Is he a speedster? Because I have read some instances wherein he showcases powers that your usual speedster would possess. But first, what is a speedster in the first place? A speedster is a character primarily in superhero comics whose powers primarily relate to superhuman speed. Primary abilities shared by all speedsters include running at speeds far in excess of human capability and resistance to the side effects that result from such velocity. That is pretty much the textbook definition of a speedster. In DC Comics, speedsters are able to run in superhuman speeds without its side effects because of the speed force. The speed force is a cosmic energy field and force based around velocity and movement, and one of the seven forces of the universe. It is the representation of reality in motion, being the very cosmic force that pushes space and time forward. It grants all speedsters their power. Alright, now back to Jesus being a speedster. This idea first came from the story where Jesus walks on water in Matthew chapter 14 verse 22 to 31. Speedsters can of course run on water using their superhuman speed. In the CW show, Barry Allen needed to run 650 miles per hour to be able to run on water and outrun an explosion. But in real world science, the average adult only needs to run 55 to 60 kilometers per hour, which seems very possible for someone like Jesus. So he could be vibrating his feet so fast that he is able to walk on water, or maybe he is so fast that he only looks like he is walking but he is actually running. The next instance is Jesus being in multiple locations simultaneously. In Matthew chapter 18 verse 20, Jesus said, For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. And he also said in Matthew chapter 28 verse 20, And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Both instances shows Jesus having omnipresence, which is one of the many abilities those possessing the power to wield the speed force has. Jesus is also famous for healing people. There are a lot of instances where Jesus is said to have healed people. Healing can also be an ability given by the speed force. Speedsters have accelerated healing and can heal very fast. For example, a broken bone can be healed in like a couple of hours. Now I know that pretty much everyone from the Flash family can't like heal people, but what if Jesus had a way to use his accelerated healing onto others? So I think this entry deserves like an honorable mention at the very least. Then Jesus also has amazing knowledge shown in the passages here. Enhanced intellect is also another one of the powers given by the speed force. Speedsters mental capacities are enhanced to the extent that they can think exponentially faster than any ordinary human. Certain speedsters have learned to tap into the speed force directly with their mind, allowing them to tactically assess and predict the numerous possible and probable outcomes of most and any given situation, as well as send their consciousness into the speed force to view alternate timelines. Now, this enhanced intellect can also be attributed to Jesus having the ability to predict the future. Like I said before, speedsters can use their speed thinking in order to predict the outcomes of any given situation. Not just that, but they can also view alternate timelines. So maybe Jesus was viewing these alternate timelines to predict what is about to happen in his current timeline. He of course also could have just time traveled to be able to predict the future and could have gone to that future to see for himself. So we have found out that Jesus possesses the abilities that speedsters and those connected with the speed force has, namely omnipresence, superhuman speed, enhanced intellect, and time travel. In Matthew chapter 24 verse 3 to 28, it is also said that the true son of man would appear again like the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west. I think it's now safe to say that Jesus can be classified as a speedster. But let's take it further up a notch. What if Jesus is not just a speedster, but is the speed force himself? 
Another power of the Speed Force is the ability to metamorphosize. The Speed Force has the ability to alter its physical appearance to mimic the physical characteristics of people like Joe West and Nora Allen in the Arrowverse. So maybe the Speed Force took on the appearance of a Middle Eastern man in that of Jesus of Nazareth. Earlier I mentioned the story of Jesus walking on water. On a stormy night at sea, Jesus appears walking on the water toward the disciples' boat. Peter asked Jesus if he could come meet him. Jesus said, Come. come. <laughs> I should not be laughing at this, I'm going to hell. And Peter walked on water until he began to be afraid. So Jesus has the power to grant others superhuman speed. Lastly, Jesus claims to be the light. In John chapter 8 verse 11 to 12, he said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. And in John chapter 9 verse 5, he also said, As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Now, why am I mentioning this? Because one of the aliases of the speed force is the light. Therefore, Jesus is not just God the Son, but he is also the speed force. With that being said, how does this affect LeBron James's legacy? Is LeBron James a speedster? LeBron James has played the highest level of basketball in 20 years. At worst, he is a top 5 player in the NBA, and at his best, he is the true GOAT. But could that durability be because he is a part of the speed force and is a speedster? Well, I'm going to be straight. No, he is not a speedster. Or is he?